All right, fellas. Dozer is sold. Figured we'd make a little video for you. They drove this rig here. It's pretty international. Harvester combine from, where'd you come from? Uh, Davy. Davy. Okay. Come from Davy. That's all the way down by South Florida. Yeah. All right. Well, we're going to video you loading it up, bud. See there, this man, see that set of keys he's got? He's ready to go. Prepared. It's a Kalen Siebert. See if we can see how much weight it'll carry. Uh, I can't read that without my glasses. 80,000 and 50,000. So you probably put 50,000 on the deck, I guess. Probably 80 all spread out. Got a winch up there on it. And uh, he's fixing to load her up. So guys, we had a truck go down Monday, we've been fighting Cummins and Peterbilt. The truck was in the shop three weeks ago for two weeks, DPF problem. Monday, he had a big 350 Hitachi excavator loaded. And uh, this is going to result in a lawsuit is what's going to happen. But I've had enough. I've lost enough money. Um with this BS. But anyway, the truck shut down as he was driving immediately. Wouldn't do nothing. It would it would start up my idle, but so we got a hundred and seven codes off the computer. So they sent a wrecker six hours to get him. I had deadheaded another truck nine hundred miles to go get the excavator and finish the run. Um, just a bunch of bullshit. And, um, so when we got it to the Peterbilt shop, <clears throat> they said this write-up says they replaced this sensor. So we were on a conference call. They called the previous dealer that worked on it. Now, we've been having a problem with this sensor since we purchased a truck new in February of 22. And um, let me go take them a key. And um, basically, they called and they said, if you change this sensor, why is it still painted orange with, from where it went down the assembly line? And they didn't have a response. They basically said, oh, he's got it. They basically said, we'll have to get back with you. So anyway, said all, Cummins said there was a TSB, which is a technical service bulletin out. And had they performed that TSB that was on it when it was in the shop, what I'm fixing to tell you wouldn't have happened. So the DPF system has completely destroyed itself. All of the internals, it got so hot, it destroyed all of them. And it said it needed all six fuel injectors replaced for a misfire. You know, the truck wasn't misfiring. There's something to do with a sensor. So it was putting more fuel in when it regened than it was supposed to. It was saying regen too long, regen incomplete, and regen too often. We did what they told us to do, which was keep driving it. So, you know, 
that's where we're at. So Cummins is warranting all of this. The truck's got 150,000 miles on it. So they're putting six new injectors in the engine and a complete new DPF system on there. Plus they got them a big fat, probably $10,000 record bill to pay. And uh, it's just bullshit. I've had enough. When the warranty runs out, I will delete them. I wasn't interested in doing that shit, but I'm very much interested in it now. I um, ordered some more trucks and uh, we took delivery yesterday of our new Talbert, 60 ton, eight axle. So anyway, that's, uh, that's kind of just my commentary why this gentleman gets loaded up. And um, very, very, very upset with Peterbilt. I mean, this truck's been nowhere but to the Peterbilt dealers. And this whiff sensor that they claim they've changed like 11 times, right? 11 times. The current Peterbilt dealer said, if that sensor was changed, why is it the painted orange the frame color he said this thing ain't never been removed so uh i'm gonna miss my little dozer guys this guy got him a good deal um i had to let up on the price a little bit for him but he tried to beat me way down but that wasn't gonna happen um i really probably shouldn't have sold it it's probably a mistake great great machine guys in the uh, grading business does finish grading so uh, super nice guy though he drove up here looked at it he thought I was full of shit about it having 400 hours on it but when he got on that mess with it, he says yeah this machine's still brand new and you know a lot of people will shine you on and bullshit you now, I don't do that I'll shoot you straight does the blade go sideways on this one? Yep. It does. Just twist the uh, right handle. And uh, but he's getting him a good machine. He's got him a big job on an airport extension they're doing. Never had a trailer like this, a rollback. Maybe I should get one. We're really liking our Talbert so far. He's now loading a, a big grinder on it right now in the West Virginia in the mountains. And, uh, yep. Go to your right a little bit. Keep going. All right, straighten it up. Back to the left. Go back to your left a little bit. There you go. Yep, that'll work. Anyway, he's got him a big airport job. Super happy for him. Independent contractor, not a not a giant company. And uh, so yeah, that's it. This baby is uh, transaction completed snap him a couple of pictures but anyway so that's the that's the Peterbilt I mean I'm not gonna say they're not good trucks but I, I'm telling you right now they're uh tilt it to the right other side no 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 uh, other control
Put it down. I'm trying to get it to where the blade sticks on the passenger side, not the driver. Yeah. Make sure it don't go down. It don't stick out but about that far. As far as it's going to turn, Pops. It ain't. It don't got to turn. It's got to turn like that and then tilt it. Tilt the side up. You can't haul it like that. This is against the law in Florida. That, that's the way uh, Alan's towing did it. Well, he probably just run it how he wanted to run it. This fella's going to have to roll through the scale house. Well, he's over whipped then, eh? Yeah, he's got a blanket permit for that. Oh, okay. But when you go through that scale house, it's got to be how the statutes say, or Florida will collect their tax. I know. So I don't know anything about these Kalen Siebert trailers. Um, looks pretty good. Sounds pretty good. Don't really hear no squealing yet. That's a good thing. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Yeah, I so he's going to chain her down and that's going to be that, but we'll be back with you.